starter show with one of the most popular children's entertainer on television. If you have a child between the ages of one and six, you'll probably recognize him. That's because he has set up shop on one of the most popular streets in America. Oh, hello. And welcome to another peaceful day here on Sesame Street. For 16 seasons, Alan Muraoka has been running one of the most iconic shops on television, Mr. Hooper's store on Sesame Street. We visit Alan as he prepares to start shooting his 17th season with the show. But before we sit down for the interview, he quizzes me. Do you know who this yeah, is? Yeah, Abby Cadabby. No. no. <gasps> Oh, no. We don't negate. We just say, try again. Try again. And how did you end up in this magical place? Well, in this ma no, the most famous street in the world. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so back in uh, 1997, I was doing the revival of King and I, and then uh, I got a call from my agent saying, hey, they're looking for somebody to take over Hooper's store for the 30th season. They're like, they want to change things up a little bit. Alan made history. He became the first Asian American cast member of Sesame Street. I grew up with the show. I was, I'm was i of that generation that uh, I was a latchkey kid, and so I watched it growing home, you know, with eating my Oreos. Um, <laughs> and, and, and drinking your tank. And drink, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, yes, tank. <laughs> my very first day on set, the actress who plays Susan uh, asked me how old I was, and I told her, and she said, I raised you. Come here. And she gave me a huge hug, and it was absolutely true. I, I had grown up with her and Bob, you know, and Maria on my television set for years, so it did feel like home for me. Alan grew up in Southern California, fourth generation Japanese American, with stars in his eyes. He started performing in middle school, and the stage became his second home. His big break came after a stint performing on a cruise ship after college. I just got off a cruise ship. I had worked for a year and a half to save money to move to New York. There was a call for a new musical that was coming to New York. And um, I was like, oh, all right. You know, and they want, specifically wanted an Asian American guy. And I've never done this before. But I sent my picture and resume to the theater uh, that was producing it. And I was like, I am the guy that you want for this role. <laughs> on a, on a little <laughs> post-it. I was like, I would never have done that before in my life. And, you know, and ultimately I got the part. So I guess they listened to that little post-it note. He starred in six Broadway shows since moving to New York in 1987. Most notably, he played the engineer in Miss Saigon. He was in the last revival of The King and I, and he starred in Stephen Sondheim's Pacific Overtures. Theater is his first love. Along with performing on stage, he directed several shows, including shows for nonprofits like the East West Players. Alan is a familiar face in the Asian American community, always lending a helping hand. In fact, you and I have co-hosted uh, events throughout, I, I won't say how long, yeah, don't say or about. Please don't reveal yes. that. <laughs> and I love it, and I do love it. But it is his role as Alan the Grocer that has opened the doors to incredible opportunities. He performed at the White House, in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and has performed with some of his favorite celebrities. When did it hit you that you were part of this iconic show? Oh, you know, it always surprises me when people, you know, when people come up to me. I, I, I remember uh, this was a few seasons ago. Cheryl Crow was on the show, and we're sitting there, I'm like, oh, I gotta get to meet Cheryl Crow. And she, and we walk up to each other, and she goes, I am so excited to meet you. And I was like, and I just sat there. I was like, what? <laughs> This is not how it's supposed to go. I am excited to meet you. It's been an incredible run for Alan, and it continues with Sesame Street. More acting and directing, and he has a book coming out soon. If you could talk to your younger self now, that junior high school kid yeah. with these big dreams, what would you say? <laughs> um, what would I say? Um, you're going to have a pretty good life. So, you know, it's coming. So just, you know, just wait for it. Calm down. Just calm down and wait for it, because it's going to be pretty fun. Thank goodness you didn't calm down, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Good to meet you. I think he is saying, welcome to Sesame Street. I'm Ernabelle DeMillo for Asian American Life. <laughs>